And the part of the show that doesn't matter nearly as much is the fact that you fooled me. Yeah! I cannot believe 20,000 of you guys subscribe. Thank you so much, that makes me so happy. And I am a man of my word. This video will be detailing exactly how I fooled Penn and Teller. The secret is in this box. Okay, this video has like 900 comments of your guesses of how I did this trick. So I just wanna reiterate the three most popular guesses that you guys have, have, have thought that how this works. The three most popular guesses are, the first one which just drives me crazy, everybody thinks it's done this way and it makes absolutely no sense. You guys think that I took the peanut, I look what he wrote on it, and then in the box I had a Sharpie and I tried duplicating the peanut. The second one is a, was a popular guess amongst magicians because I gave Teller a bag of peanuts. I wanted him to think that those peanuts maybe were special. A lot of people think that there was a magnet in the lid of the box and there a little magnet in every single peanut in that Ziploc. And the third one is that I switched peanuts and then when I dropped it in the box, that was a different peanut that was going in the box and I held it in my hand, put it in my pocket, put it in my mouth in the box. All those three, Guesses are wrong. Okay, so if you guys are ready to see how I fooled Penn and Teller, if you wanna see what's in this box, like this video and let's get right to it. Here is the secret. This is how I fooled Penn and Teller. What I did is I took a cloth and on it I printed hundreds of packing peanuts. Should we, should we do it with the video? Let's do it with the video. All right, Alex Boyer, by the way, thank you so much for all the help that you did with this routine. It really takes a team, uh, it does, you know, yeah. it, takes, uh, it takes an army to build a village, not, what is it? It takes a small army, no army it can- It takes more than two people to do a salad. I want to give the cloth away. The best funniest comment is going to get the gimmick that I used to fool Penn and Teller. I'll sign it for you. I don't want it in my house. I never want to do it again. <laughs> no, right. I just want to give it to you. Yeah. And I'll ship Alex in the box with it yeah, too. Yeah, boy, what? No refunds! <laughs> All right. All right. Right here when I come on stage, this is key. If you see pe pe packing peanuts go flying everywhere. That's key. That's wanted. There we go. When I do this with my hand and the peanuts go everywhere, that is strategic. I want him to see that it's a box filled with packing exactly. peanuts because that's not the case. This also. box <laughs> is not filled with packing peanuts. Here's the real secret. The box actually opens on both sides. The cloth we showed you is tacked inside the box halfway. So half the box is filled with packing peanuts and if you flip the box, you see the cloth printed with all those packing peanuts. Yes. Now, the first kind of weir the weird, the weird thing is when I approach Teller with that bag, we wanted to kind of throw normal, them off normal a little bag bit. Too. Normal bag, normal peanuts. We kind of want to throw them off a little bit because why would I get them to come up and pick a peanut from the box? Or why would I scoop it with my hands and bring them, it, it, it was just more theatrical. And they know about change bag. They know about change bag. Magician out there, you, you guys know about change bag, so yeah. So it was kind of like, to kind of throw them off a little bit. So as they're signing the peanut, I'm going back on stage mm -hmm. and mixing the box with Damien. Was it Damien? Fabian. 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 Thanks, Fabian, by the way. Yeah, by the way, you were great. Yeah, Good you job. did great out there. So here's the idea. When I go back on stage and mix the box with Fabian to show him how to mix it, what we're really doing is we're mixing the box and then I'm showing him like this, like this, like this, and we end up turning the box and I send him to his to go sit down on the stool. Because when I open that box now, there's gonna be a cloth with packing peanuts, and I don't want him to see that. Yeah. So that was the first uh, step to doing this, flip the box over. Now, walking back, as I reunite the peanut, it drops in. Now this is the shot here, drops with all the other ones. Now it's just laying, there's a peanut laying on the cloth, mm -hmm. right? Now I close the box. So fair too. It's so fair because, so, and that's what t t Penn guessed. Penn mm -hmm. guessed that I dropped it in some sort of jar or container. By the way, there's something I haven't mentioned and this is huge. There was a 10% chance that this trick didn't work. Yeah. And oh that's God. what I was afraid of. As a professional magician who does this for a living, <laughs> I can't afford a trick to go wrong, especially on national television oh. when you have one chance. There was a chance while we're mixing the box that the cloth got untacked. 
Mm-hmm. And he was mixing it very oh, hard. Yeah. When I was like, come on, shake what your mama gave you. Yeah. Shake it. He was shaking. And we tried so many different ways also. To get the cloth nice and. To, to be like still and to not move and to stay there. Yeah. Because the second that another packing peanut were going inside of that compartment or that thing there. It gets, it gets flooded. And yeah. so there was a t- about a 10% chance. And I think that's what kind of fooled him. He's going to get the glue as I'm opening the box. Because I don't want him to see that cloth. So then when we cover ourselves mm-hmm. in glue. The packing peanut is just there laying on the cloth. The glue, a lot of people have been talking about the glue. They're like, what was the point of the glue? And somebody said it best when they're like, dude, it's misdirection, theater, yeah. and drama. Mm-hmm. Me covering my funny. Suit. It's super funny. And it's super funny also. And it's actually, I ruined my suit. <laughs> yeah, I dude. left it in Hard. Vegas. I left it yes. in Vegas in a bathtub. Yeah, I did. Right. I really did. So there we go. If you guys have stuck around this long, you've earned the best secret for my trick. And this is it. A lot of people are like, What'd you do with the cloth after? This is exactly what I did with it. In the box, as you guys were counting, I was stuffing this into my pants, just like this. <laughs> Such a weird method. Such a weird method. I was in the box stuffing it, and then I come out, hand boom boom, I yeah. tilt the box, I tilt forward, they can see through the box, they'll never guess it's a gimmick box, and all along, the cloth was inside your pants. In my pants. Pants. And that's a giveaway. And that's the one you guys are gonna bring home for one lucky subscriber. Uh, so <laughs> You're disgusting. And the rest is, um, the rest is history. Yeah! And I'm gonna share something with you guys, which is a little embarrassing. In 2017, my YouTube licked to get 100,000 subscribers. Then I crossed it off. 2018, then 2019, and then 2020. Do you have a pen? <sighs> Disgusting. Because of you guys today, 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks to you for being the person that you are, Alex. <laughs> and don't forget, the comment with the most likes will win the gimmick. I it. will wash it. I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> Alright, it's down my pants, but I'll wash it. Though you guys will win the gimmick that I will pet and tell her with. I'll sign it for you. I'll write whatever you want on it. Can I can I announce it here? I'm gonna announce I mean, it here. C- can we? I think we can. Alex got accepted to go on Penn and Teller Fool Us so excited. in September. And we're working on the act full time. That's what we're doing now, working on his act. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a little teaser of okay. what his act is gonna be. <laughs> That's all you guys are getting. Yeah. Stick around to see your progress. Mm-hmm. Okay, show off. That's how I got circumcised. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, so guys. <laughs>